And welcome back. Spider veins are so common, but it doesn't make it any easier to show off our legs when we have them. If you'd like to get rid of them, there's a new treatment that just might work for you. Dr. Deborah Mangioni and Anna McAllister are here with the Wisconsin Vein Center and MediSpa. Hi, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Nice to have you on this Friday. Thanks. Um, a lot of people wonder, okay, it might be too late now, now that it's summer and now that I'm going to be maybe revealing my legs a little bit more to have spider veins treated. Right, and there is a recovery time for it. But mm -hmm. one of the things that we always found were people were afraid to come in for treatment for spider veins in the summer because they knew they had to stay out of the sun and didn't want to have something done if they had to stay out of the sun. And that's really not necessary anymore. You know, we have a laser as well as injectables that we use, but we also have another new device this year, and it's called omic thermolysis, the vein go. And what we do is we can use a little needle device that has a le little electric current that can also help destroy the spider veins. And so even though there is a recovery time as far as how it looks, you can be tan, you don't have to worry about any of that in order to have the treatment. Now, does the, the, the term spider veins necessarily mean that it's cosmetic and not medical? Pretty much. Okay. Now, it doesn't mean there isn't something else going on underneath that is okay. a medical problem. Sometimes spider veins, especially on their location, can really be indicative of an underlying problem. So if somebody has symptoms in their legs and they just have spider veins, it doesn't mean they don't have a problem in a trunk vein that they can't see that really needs to be addressed first. And so that's why a screening or coming in for a consultation is a good idea, especially if you have any kind of aching in your legs, throbbing, uh, leg cramps at night, any of those things could be indications there's something else going on. So even if there's only spider veins on the surface, you might need to have a little bit more of an evaluation. We have a couple of pictures before and yeah. afters. If you kind of talk too about whether or not these sort of results are typical. Sure. Because um, the picture, the before picture will be on our left and then the after picture will be on our right. Yes. And, and can you also um, tell us how many treatments sure. might this lead to those results? Just uh, two treatments. Okay. Now, Typically for spider veins, you would need two to three treatments minimum to get the area to clear anywhere from 90 to 100 percent. Okay. Um, and that's for most people. Now we have to be realistic and there are some people who have spider veins covering their legs and we cannot offer that kind of expectation. But for most people who just have some scattered spider veins, usually two treatments to three treatments on an area really will do a beautiful job of clearing it. And because we're showing legs in both of these yes. pictures, is that the place where most people are going to have spider veins? That's the place where most people have spider veins, but many people also have little spider telangiectasia on their faces, okay. especially the little red capillaries that you can see. Uh, some of it is rosacea. Sometimes people just have it because of sun damage. And you can have, you know, little spider veins on the cheeks and all other places on the body, and they can easily be taken care of. In addition, those little cherry spots, cherry hemangiomas, we call them, that are little raised little red dots that people get. Women get them more than men, but both sexes can have them, both genders can have them. Uh, and they can easily be eliminated with some of our light techniques, our laser. Uh, or this little electric needle again. Okay, I bet a lot of people call and they wonder, you know, if I have a tan, because you mentioned you can still have it done. They say, mm -hmm. well, I, I want to get tan or, or I am tan. Does that still mean I can have them treated? Right. Go ahead. Let me answer that. Um, there, we can't do everything that we would do without a tan, but there are many things we can do and they can get the process started because like Dr. Mangioni said, it's it's more than likely that it's going to be more than one treatment and so with the Van Gogh that she discussed and with the injections we can still treat it's just some of the lasers that we have to uh, avoid tanning with. So. And this is a good time for people probably to get treatment whether it's spider veins or especially if it's a sign of something more serious right. the timing is good because that's probably something that shouldn't wait. Right we want people to understand it's a it is a process if it is um, a varicose vein disease issue uh, it more than likely would be covered by their insurance because of that and with that being said they have to do a process we have to have an evaluation by the doctor we have to submit to their insurance company so there is a wait time per se you have to get the appointment first then we would have to write a letter of medical necessity if they really do have issues and then wait to hear back from the insurance company so you know a lot of times people wait to September October they've met their deductible um, they want to have it done it could be too late then it could mm -hmm. be but just because of the process so yeah now is the time if you think you're going to be meeting your deductible for the year it's the time to come see and get the process started you know you mentioned some new treatments for spider 
veins, and you also mentioned that there is a, a recovery for it. Are, are some of the new treatments shortening that recovery time at all? I, I think they really are. Both new treatments that we use for injection, some of the newer um, medications that we use for injection to destroy the vein from the inside, and then all the other treatments we have from the outside. We have really four or five different methodologies that we can use using light, laser, using intense pulse light, using um, focused laser, now using this electric thermolysis. So with any of those things, it really can shorten the whole process. And the wonderful thing is people don't have to know what kind of process they need. Once you do that evaluation, you can help people determine what exactly is, is called for in their case. Here's where you can contact the Wisconsin Vein Center and MediSpa. They're located in Pewaukee on Georgetown Drive. The phone number for more information is 262-746-9088. And you can find out more about the Wisconsin Vein Center and MediSpa at their website. Is it's wimedispa.com. Thanks, ladies, and have Thank a great you. weekend. Thank, Thank you. you. Enjoy the summer.